whiskers. I had to cut my whiskers a bit and I'll be back. <laughs> I'm back today to do a little fun shimmer look with Pat McGrath. One of her newest quads and maybe to mix it and use it together with one of the older palettes that she has. A little bit of a playing around with eyeshadow. <laughs> Just the usual thing, in short. <laughs> so, Painterly Paint Pot from MAC, uh, already applied. And now we just open this pink one to begin with. And I have to say, they look really cute. Like, all her packaging is so freaking cute. So, that's the pink uh, version of the quad. And this one has a dark uh, base to it. It's really pretty. I really like those kind of eyeshadows with a dark base to it that you know they can stand by themselves you don't have to have something under and yeah and this one of course is the really pretty shimmer version here I think I will start by using this one in the inner part of the lid so that's this uh, peachy pink kind of thing and it's like that you know it, it's really pretty so in the middle here too down here this one is like super pretty like that by itself and a little bit in a crease with something and that's it to tell the truth but since we're here to try also these it's not gonna end there actually this one I wonder if this one is the one that I wanted to use something from here I think it might be I just might change my mind and use something from here with it because I think that's what I swatched on my arm and it looked really pretty. And now, of course, I don't remember exactly. So this is the red, red version of this uh, quads. And I think what I did was I used this one here, like together with this one. I didn't actually put it on my eye. I just swatched it on my arm and I thought it was really pretty. So I think I would try that. So I'm putting this one away for now. I just might have changed my mind here. And I will continue with this red. Look at that, those two together. I think that's just super pretty, the way they blend together like that. So, hmm. Yeah, I like that. I might add a little bit more the lighter version of it soon. This one is super pretty. It has some, I think, a little bit more cool tone to all the other reds that I've seen lately. Like most of them have something orange, which is really pretty, but they all start to look the same to me. So this one definitely has something more cool toned in it. Look at that. Doesn't it? I think so. And it's super pretty in my opinion. So pulling it up a bit, maybe a little bit around here. I'm not so sure about that, but let's see. So that's now this one and I pulled it up a little bit more on purpose. So it actually will peek through a bit when I open my eye like that. You know, otherwise it's just down here and under everything. So you can hardly see it still, but this one of course has some flex of shimmer in it but it's super pretty and i don't care that they can they can come up here if they want <laughs> yeah i don't mind at all they can be my hair if i want to <laughs> taking a little bit of a different kind of blending brush uh, it's very soft in the end of it but you have to use it like really lightly otherwise you come to the bristles that really like keep it in place so you know i make it like too harsh to use but the end of it is very very soft so I'm trying to blend it just with that without you know being too harsh on it going over a little bit with the light one here to blend and get a little bit more out of this one so I don't know if now I don't want to use maybe this brown from here okay so I will try this one another brush and use it here and see if I like it. 
Yeah, I don't think this will be too much shimmer. It's more of a satin as well, I think. It's something close to what a Dior shadow would be, maybe. That is actually really pretty. So I'm going to blend it in with this red one here. Red, burgundy, or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, that's pretty. And take it up a bit since it needs to be a bit darker here. Another brush for blending. And I wonder if I should take this color in here a bit or not. So I'm taking this red one under eye. Oh, prettiness. So I will take this one round about until there. Now the brown one, a bit closer maybe. And not the other way around. Like that. And definitely cool toned. I like it. <laughs> so the light one from here in the beginning of the eye here. This one looks like really peachy and nice. Well, that's what it is. It's peachy pink. It has a duochromo pink in it. It's so, so pretty, I think. But I definitely think I need to put more of the burgundy red from the small palette here to make it show a bit more. I'm blending it in with the brown one here a bit too. Then I'm adding a bit of the brown again here because, yeah, I think I should have that one like more in a wider place here a bit. Okay, for the inner corner, we just used the, the brush I used for this uh, lighter color. And I will take this really shimmery one and see if that will be nice in the inner corner. Yeah, that's a really like subtle kind of sheen. Okay, so I don't have anything in the crease. Should I have something in the crease? I don't think I really have to even because this brown pretty much blends out also. So if I use like a little bit more of this brush just here where the brown is and I go around. Also the red one seems to blend up out really nicely and make it just a little bit darker, but not, you know, anything too sparkly or anything like that. I think so. It def there definitely is like a shadow out here, but you don't really see that it's brown or it definitely doesn't have this color anymore or shimmer. So I would just straightly use some of this here, especially where I left a little bit pink here after cleaning the brows a tiny bit. Now I would think I'll use a little bit of this liner from Natasha Denona, not the sparkly one, because that one has gold in it and it's, yeah, it's pretty by itself with a little bit and not with a look like this. So definitely this. Now, after looking at it a little bit more from far away, I don't think this is enough. It does have some shadow over there, but I think maybe I should, or not, take some of this gray one from this palette. I will just try and do it really softly. Let's see. So the lighter gray from here, it's not that light, but it's also not that dark, I think. So I will start here where it can be darker, you know. And then can go a little bit up here. Slightly in here too. I think I like that better. So I think I'm ready to curl lashes and do the mascara and the brows and all those more boring things for me. Now what I could do to make it a bit more interesting still, is to now take from this pink palette and use this really bright one. That's what I will do in the middle. Gold and pink together, that's what it is. Picks it up really well. So let's see if I can get it to stick on the, 
eyelid also without anything because I don't feel like using those mixing mediums and all those things. They tend to change the eyeshadow also a bit. And yeah, glitter glue, I definitely don't want to put that if I don't have to. <laughs> That's just my opinion on those things. So I think I will just try it here in the middle. I mean, I do really like this color too, but I, I can't not use this one since it's there, right in front of me. So I will just try and tap it and swirl it. Or tap and swipe it on, see if it gets there. It's not on the brush anymore, so it has to be there. It's not very strong when you use it like this. Let's see if I can just make it a bit more. I suppose those are better with fingers like everybody says they are. I mean, uh, I have to do it with a pinky then because everything else is too big on my hand. <laughs> like my hands are really big so I have to use the pinky for this. So of course this will work better because you have, for the most part, I mean here I never have cold hands, I don't think so. It's not cold enough to have cold fingers even. <laughs> yeah, not even in the winter, I think. So yeah, I'm just pressing this one on like that. But no, it's very golden on my eye actually. So I don't know if I like that. I mean, with this look, I kind of wanted it to stay with this pink version. Hmm. You know what I wanted to try? I'm not gonna do it on the other eye. I want to try it with the snow flush from MAC. Okay, so I grabbed the snow flush from MAC from last uh, Christmas holiday. So it also has a gold pink sheen to it. More I thought like this one here. But you know, I will just use this one here and see what it looks like. So it's this version of there is similarities for sure and okay so there is a difference you know okay so there is a difference this is the mac one here and there's definitely a different base to it this one doesn't have it has more of a pink base let's say this one yeah they're different they're different but anyways i will use the mac here because i have it on my finger and let's see if that one gets stuck It gets the same, I think it gets almost the same end result. Don't you think so? This one is a bit more shimmery, yes? Now it seems like a lot of those have a lot of gold in them always, instead of, like I would like to see a pink shimmer in those ones. Yeah, in the end. It's like the gold always wins with the shimmer war. I'm taking the big number six palette just to take the lightest one from here which is really rather neutral it has a little bit of a beige kind of or something like that in it just pop this one really close and get a little bit of a more cool tone thing going here yeah I should I use this one maybe look at that hello this one here, I thought it was kind of meh in the beginning, but the more I use it and the more I can use it, because it's a neutral one, I can use it with any look. And it's, it's like a standout shimmer of hers, like anyways. So yeah, the more I use this uh, Midnight Sun, the more I like it. But it's not, like I said, I think in the, in the video I made from this one where I was a little bit uh, not disappointed exactly. But where I was thinking she could have done a bit more with these uh, four shades here. And some of them I still think <laughs> they could have been a bit more. But actually this one, I really start to like this one because it's so neutral and it goes with any look. I'm just fooling around with color right now and playing around with everything. So today I used this uh, Shivenshi powder in these uh, colors, blue, white, or pinkish green and lilac. 
Mussolini pastel is number one. I really like these powders all together. And uh, yeah, and the scent is very, very minimal, let's say. And on my lips, I have uh, Lollipop from Il Maquillage and Kinda Sexy from MAC and in the middle a little bit uh, an Elizabeth Arden color that was a gift of purchase like a long time ago but it's still going strong so yeah it's a really kind of a shiny little bit like a golden pink like that it has some golden shimmer in it so I hope this Alba from Natasha Denona will be nice on the cheeks with this look I think so I will just use a you know slightly slanted uh, blush brush for this and I did powder it pretty well so that I won't get it stuck on any you know specific area and I will try and and build it up this time this one also has gold in it so it's kind of all over the gold and pink you know there okay now it's like this golden more golden than anything else i feel this one i will use it here also a little bit like that and i suppose that's it so again bobby brown pink highlight maybe here somewhere just like that a bit and I will blend it out in a second maybe down like that okay I will go in with the brush that I used for the powder and I don't think I need to buff more than I do now because this uh, I don't want to use any more powder let's say on the skin itself so I think this is gonna have to be enough buffing and all that for today. I think I want to use a little bit of a matte, kind of a nothing, nothing. Or maybe those two together. This is like a complete, you know, hardly see it. So maybe those two together on the skin a bit. And I will just use the same brush that I used before. So I will definitely take some of this and a little bit of the coral one and get a a little bit more on the cheek here something like this and then like I usually do a little bit on the side of the nose down here too okay so pretty much easy going look I think I mean shimmer I always have some shimmer on my lids